today is your first rest day. It's the Wednesday of week one, and you should be feeling really sore from the workout. But that's totally normal. This weight training program will be a shock to your body. But today I'm gonna to speak to you about nutrition and how to shop and what you should be shopping for and how to prepare those foods. I'm very strict with my diet to make sure that I get the best results possible at the end of this transformation. So you should be eating exactly what I eat. Today we're gonna to go to the supermarket, so come along with me so you can see exactly what foods that you should be eating and the foods you need to stay away from. Eating healthy does take a commitment, and although it may not necessarily be cheap to buy healthy, it can be affordable and is definitely well worth it in the long run. Okay, we're here at the sweet potatoes. Uh, we've also got the yams here that you can have on a transformation, or in uh, the UK you'd call them Swedes. It's good to mix up your carbohydrate sources. Like the main source for me comes from brown rice, but I also like to mix it up with uh, some sweet potatoes and some oatmeals as well. It stays very basic with a carbohydrate sauce. It's a slightly slower digesting carb along with the brown rice and oats. Okay, another form of carbohydrates that I recommend on this program is brown rice. So um, a lot of people are carbophobes when doing a program such as this. I'm a carb freak, I like to have my carbs. Uh, keeps the metabolism firing. Providing that you're getting the right carbohydrates, you're gonna get the results that you want and providing that you're sticking to your nutrition, training program and frequency of those meals. So we like to go for the short grain. I've been told by my wife that they are a lot more moist than the long grain brown rice. One of the tips that I like to pass on to clients is to eat before you actually come to the supermarket so it'll prevent less amount of cravings and you're less likely to pick up foods that you shouldn't be eating. Just because you're on this transformation doesn't mean you need to exclude other people like friends or family that aren't on this transformation when you're going shopping. So my wife just poured some almond butter here, which is fine, she needs the healthy fats. But when you're doing this transformation, you don't need those healthy fats so much. You need to be burning off the fats that you're storing, not the fats that you're ingesting. Okay, the next carbohydrate stop for us is the quick oats. So we get a big bag like this for convenience because we'll go through one of these in a month between having this for breakfast with the egg whites and using it as a meal replacement with protein powder. It's very easy to go through the, the oats and I never cut this out at all during the entire 12 weeks. And the next thing on my shopping list is steak. So the macronutrients that we're really focusing on on this transformation are your protein and your carbohydrate sources. So obviously not going too much for the fat, we need to keep um, meat sources very lean. So for that reason, I like to go for the eye of round steak which is a very lean sauce. So we can just throw that on the grill or on the barbecue. Another one that I like to get is the eye of round roast. So I've actually got a meat grinder at home. This is great to put through the grinder and have it like ground beef. And one more that I get is a tenderloin. Now it looks a little bit fatty on the outside. That's okay, you can trim that off. But throughout the rest of it, it's very soft, very moist and very lean. Another lean protein source that I like to include in this program is fish. So I like to go for tilapia personally. It's, um, it's very tasteless. I don't like anything that's too fishy and it's cheap. Don't go too much for like the deli meats or anything like that or anything that's gonna be, that's gonna have a lot of preservatives. So I know that lean forms of steak and fish and stuff like that, I know exactly what I'm going to get into my body because it's listed on the ingredients list on the back. Next protein form that we're taking are eggs. So uh, we separate the egg whites from the yolks because the yolks is what contains all the fat and cholesterol. Between myself and my wife, we go through 24 egg whites just at breakfast, hence we're getting them in bulk like this. Sometimes we do order them from bodybuilding.com and just get the egg white formula for convenience. Other times when we're at the supermarket, we'll just grab them like this. So the last stop uh, for protein, I like to grab the poultry. So here I'm, I'm just picking up the turkey breast, it's very lean. Always go for the breast as opposed to the leg or the wing. You know you're gonna get a leaner cut of, uh, of the bird. So um, I've got loads of chicken at home, so no need to get any more chicken. Just turkey, and that's it. So another fibrous carb that I like to utilize within my diet, especially as I'm cutting out the carbohydrates in the latter meals, I like to replace it with the fibrous carbohydrates to, um, 
to replace the complex carbs like in your brown rice or in your potatoes. So it's very important to have fiber within your diet to make sure that you're regular, to keep your metabolism firing as well. I don't eat a huge amount of uh, vegetables, but th that's okay. You can eat as many vegetables as you want. A lot of it is water, so you'll probably burn off as many calories digesting it as the amount that's in it. I personally just like to have it in the last couple when I cut out my uh, complex carbohydrates. Although coffee isn't an essential part of this transformation, it's essential to my transformation because I really feel like I need this in the morning and before my workout, just to give me that extra boost of energy as a stimulant, especially in the morning when I really don't want to do my cardio, and in the afternoon when I'm having that, you know, the mid-afternoon kind of crash. So the coffee really gives me a stimulant to, you know, get a more intense workout. So. That's why I have my coffee black and just with a, with a natural sweetener. So we're here at the sweetener slash sugar section. Obviously you can't have sugar while you're on this program. So what I like to use is, uh, is like a stevia extract. It's from the stevia leaf, so you're not gonna have anything that's uh, like any additives or any additional calories. This is calorie free. So this is great to have in your black coffee because you can't have milk on this program. Not every supermarket sells it, so you can actually get this on bodybuilding.com as well. So on this transformation, fat is a big no-no, especially saturated fat. So here you've got uh, your, your corn oil, your olive oil. You shouldn't be frying your foods anyway on this transformation. So what I like to use, if I'm going to use a fat, is just a spray, so it gives me a very thin lathering. I'll put that like on my barbecue grill so my food doesn't stick to it. So if you're gonna use a fat, use something along the lines of a spray. An essential tool on this 12 week transformation are your Tupperware containers. So I eat nearly every single one of my meals out of these Tupperware containers, and as my training partner, you should be too. So I like to get the larger containers just to store my chicken and my tilapia and my rice in, just to keep in the fridge, and I get the smaller containers just to put in my, uh, my cool bag to take to work to eat my single meals out of. So water is a huge part of your transformation performance during these 12 weeks. Your body is made up around 70% fluid. I'll drink about a gallon, which is about this amount, during a day, and I'll add my BCAA Extend formula within here as well. So if I've got a grape or an orange flavor, the chances are I'm going to drink more of it. So yes, the upfront cost of stocking up on healthy foods while grocery shopping may seem like a lot at the checkout station, but actually, you'll most likely be saving money on a weekly basis. So now that you've bought all the foods that you need, let me give you some tips on preparing those foods. So I always like to make my foods in bulk. So I'll cook a, a couple of days worth of chicken breasts and fish and stuff like that. So I just have to get it out of the fridge and just cut it up per meal. But I'll always make sure that I prepare my meals for the following day, the previous evening. So when I wake up, I've got no distractions. I can just get my meals, put them in my cool bag and off I go to work. And I also make sure that I grill or boil all my foods as well. I don't like to fry them too much. I need to drain out all the fat that's actually in the meat sauces. So I always use a griller like, um, like a Foreman grill or a barbecue grill. I measure all my meals with a scale just to make sure that I get accurate portions. But what you can also do is measure your food portions up against the size of your fist. Just to make sure that these foods aren't getting too bland and too boring, I also like to add various things to it, like some ginger, cayenne pepper, some spices, garlic, and things like that. I even add salt on there, just to make sure that my body's holding enough fluid so I can push a little bit more weight in the gym. The only time I'll cut the salt out is like a couple of days before my after photos. So don't worry about the salt at this stage as well. Remember, you've got to make sure this diet is part of your life. Whether it's at work, whether you're traveling, at social gatherings, or at school, you've got to stick on this plan. So you'll notice throughout this transformation, I travel quite a bit, but I never waver off my nutrition plan, ever, and neither should you. So tomorrow's going to be a training day. We've got back and biceps, but today I'm going to be doing cardio. I've done it this morning, I'm doing it again this evening. whining already, come back tomorrow and I'll get you thinking differently.